Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Najee. I'm back again with another one of these talking videos. Um, this one is a bit personalized because this was asked by one of my cousins. They seen my videos. Um, Shouts to you, by the way. But they seen one of my videos and they were like, oh, dude, that's, that's you know, cool that you're doing YouTube. I just realized you're doing YouTube. Shouts to you. Um, if you could talk about this in a video, you know, that'd be dope. Cause then like, it'd be helping me out a little bit to hear your thoughts on it or something along those lines. So I was like, yeah, man. Like, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't mind taking personalized requests. So if you guys have anything personal or not personal, but something more personalized, something that more you're specifically dealing with. If you want me to cover that in a video in the future, leave it in a comment, email me. I'll be sure to put my, my email in the comments down below. It'll be the first comment. It'll probably be a pinned comment in the comments down below. So go ahead and reach out to me if you want me to touch on something personalized for you. All right. But y'all see the title. You know what we're getting into today. Today's topic is really about how to deal with stress, right? And for some of us, Dealing with stress can be different, you know what I'm saying? Like for you, for you dealing with stress, you could probably deal with stress better by painting or by, by playing video games or by watching anime or by reading a book. Whatever the case is, whatever you decide to do, that is your stress reliever, all right? The issue is when people do stress relieving activities that are more so, I want to say destructive, right? The destructive in another aspect of their life that they're ignoring by being, uh, by trying to focus on just purely de-stressing. Like for example, smoking cigarettes is a terrible idea. Terrible idea. If you're already smoking cigarettes, it's too late for you. It's too late for you. Don't worry about it. It's too late for you. And I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to hold back because here's the thing. Plenty of people that do the whole cigarette smoking or vaping or things of that nature. I've seen it time and time again. Oh, I'm going to quit. Oh, I'm going to do that. Be real with yourself. You know damn well you're not going to quit. You're not going to quit. The best solution for you at this point but to be moderated and do it as little as you can possibly get away with doing it. That's your best bet. But I know people that smoke whole packs of cigarettes every single day. They go and buy a pack every day and they get through that bitch at the end of the day. That's a terrible cycle to be in. That's a terrible cycle to be in. Same thing could be said about... Um, What's it? Any other sort of drug use, man. These are all just temporary fixes for a long term. For a long term um, <clears throat> negative. OK. And I know some of you are watching this video and you're like, bro, you're literally in the video smoking a blunt. Like, <laughs> like, how are you talking about anybody else's vice? This is my this is my counter to you. OK. I'm not shaming you for your advice what i'm saying is that if these are the things you're doing and these are distressors they come with a very negative counter point to it as well like there's something negative happening to you while you're doing while you're enjoying the positives of the de-stressing okay or the high or whatever you're trying to achieve whatever you're trying to chase this i'm doing this casually just because i'm just chilling you know what I'm saying? And me, I'm not even a heavy pothead. Now, if you talk about my girlfriend, she loves to smoke. That's a different story. But for me, I'm very just, you know, every once in a while while I'm chilling, I'll, I'll take, I'll smoke a J. Here and there. So that's that's also goes to my point. Moderation. Doing things like this, drinking, whatever the case may be, in moderation can be a good way to kind of unwind and kind of deal with the stresses of life because life does get very stressful. Okay? 
at times life can be very confusing and that stresses you out. At times life can be very hard and push you a lot and that can stress you out a lot. And now you need a really quick way to de-stress to come back down to earth and get back on that mission, right? Now, some of us that do the de-stressing route of being a little bit more on the uh, positive end of things and not having a whole lot of negative drawback from it, being like working out or meditation or listening to like ocean waves or, or watching cat videos or something that, along those lines. These are things that are very minimal, but have almost purely positive takeaways from it. There's nothing negative you're taking away from it. So... The idea as well is that you don't get into a habit just to de-stress, okay? Don't get into a bad habit just for the sake that you just want to de-stress or for the sake that you want to be cool or want to be around other people and shit. That's a bad reason to get into, especially a bad habit like drinking or smoking or things of that nature, okay? At the end of the day, when it comes to finding a way to de-stress from external uses it usage <clears throat> excuse me from external uses so like outside of your of your personal space like finding different things that can help you de-stress like drinking a bottle or whatever the case else do it in moderation do it in moderation do not get sucked in to doing something I'm gonna, i'll go ahead and put this out by the way my bad y'all <laughs> But do, do not get into a situation where you're just, you know, using, using, using. Every time you want to get a high, every time you want to do this and that, fuck that, man. It's not worth it. And all it does is it drags you down a very dark road where you become absolutely hooked on this on this thing. Whether it's drinking, whether it's drug use, whatever it's, uh, it's uh, self-inflicting damage on yourself. You know what I'm saying? chipping away at your own armor you, if you know what i mean you know what i mean i'm trying to be youtube youtube friendly because they don't like certain words and certain terminologies being used on youtube so i'm trying to be very you know low-key about it but if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about take care of yourself but there are a lot of different ways you can stress you can de-stress without pushing yourself to taking on a bad habit again please Try the positive stuff first. If it really don't work out for you, I mean, I mean, truly try. Because if it really doesn't work out for you, then it's okay you trying something that is helping you. And that's okay. It's okay to find, to find something that works for you when everything else you tried has not worked. But that's the, the key thing there. Try first. Try to find that thing that's going to work for you. Because it's not okay that you went straight to the bad vices when you didn't even try to work in that uh, aspect of life. You didn't even try the the meditation. You didn't even try yoga. You didn't even try, um, you know, playing with a puppy or you didn't try, whatever the case is, whatever the, the positive one is that you could have tried. You didn't even put your best foot forward in trying to do that. So now you're lost to a bad habit. When you could have built a good one. Like going to the gym and getting your, your body right. And this is the thing. A lot of people have a, a bad rep or a bad misconception about the gym. The gym can be a very light experience for you. Trust. I see so many people. And not even see. There's a lot of people I work out with. And I and I personally undertake with my like training or whatever. I just oversee them working out. And... There, there's so many little things you can do to just stay fit and it will help you de-stress, right? It'll help you forget moment, even momentarily, it'll help you forget about the the wear and tear of the day, the the, the tiring nine to five you work or the, 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 the stock market ups and downs that you're trying to follow and is stressing you out. Whatever it is that you do that is giving you stress in your life, working out can be one of the best ways to de-stress. It's gonna stress you up a little bit while you're working out because that's just how it works your, your endorphins are running you know your adrenaline is really pacing you're working a lot your blood's flowing your muscles are getting sore you're maybe getting a little bit short of breath things of that nature are going to happen 
but it's happening for a better reason than for not. And that's the point. You want that positive influence. You want that positive affirmation in your life through the things you do to de-stress. You feel me? So next time you're thinking about doing something in order to come down to earth, in order to, to de-stress, think about maybe I should do a little bit of meditation. Maybe I should turn on this this sound wave or this motive or this motivational thing or whatever the case is that can maybe put me down a little bit and make, make me relax a little bit right because sometimes we all need a break we need a break and we need a chance to just go somewhere and breathe and just be ourselves and that's fine also another thing to note you're not alone sally next to you she's stressing out too Martin, right there, in that cubicle over there, yeah, he's stressing out too, man. You feel me? Like, everybody's dealing with stress. So don't put a whole lot of pressure on yourself to just immediately de-stress as well. If it takes the time, if it takes time for you to get through it, then take your time and try to get through it. If you're somebody that gets over things real quick, that works out for you, okay? But just know everybody has their own pace when it comes to these things. So just be patient with yourself. It's one of the best sayings in the world. Patience is a virtue. And if you're practicing true patience, you can never lose. You can never lose. Because while everybody else is running around like a chicken with their head cut off, <laughs> stressing out, <laughs> about to have a fucking heart attack. Here you are chilling doing your thing right so i'm gonna leave y'all with that i don't want to make the video too long too too long-winded but that's all i got for you guys again if you have any personalized topic you want me to talk about in a future video something for you to tap into let me know in the comments down below in my email wherever you need to find me i'll let i'll leave my email in the pinned comment in this comment section like i said before to help you guys get out and reach out to me uh easier and more often if you want to and if you don't like commenting on youtube for some reason then that's the way to reach me okay but all that said i hope you guys have a great rest of y'all night i believe it's sunday yeah it's sunday so i will see you guys tomorrow on monday for another upload and for my people if you happen to be somebody that watches my reaction videos by the way those are kind of fire go check those out but reactions will be returning on tuesday i just had a bit of an issue misplaced my speaker so i wanted to just be able to just give reactions a chance to breathe so i can come back have the right sound quality and not be playing it off my laptop so just thinking about you guys thinking about the quality of video that i've been putting on for you guys i want that to stay consistent or get better and i don't want it to downgrade for just the sake of getting things out you know what i'm saying i know there are videos that you guys really want to see and I don't want to have the vo uh, the value of it diminished because I'm trying to rush it out to you guys when I know I'm not ready. So all that said, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.